Hi everyone, Emma here, and today Carly and I are gonna be talking to you about virtual fundraising alternatives for your Longest Day event. We know that Longest Day is such a creative and unique concept, and we love seeing the creative ideas that you all come up with. And we know because of COVID that some of your Longest Day events might not look the same as past years, and that's okay, because the great thing about the Longest Day is that it's flexible. You get to choose what you wanna do, when you wanna do it, who you want to invite, how you want to fundraise, it's all up to you. So we're not going to let COVID stop us from raising these critical funds for the care and support and research efforts of the association. Because all it comes down to is the longest day is our way of honoring our caregivers and honoring those we've lost to Alzheimer's and all dementia. So Carly, if I were planning on having a bake sale at my office, what should I do now? Hey Emma and everybody watching this, that's an absolutely great question because we have had a lot of Longest Day events registered this year that involved baking or cooking that may not be able to happen the way that they planned. So I'm going to give you a few solutions, but also don't forget to visit alz.org slash TLD for more information and more ideas. But have you ever considered just asking for a donation for baked goods? Uh, we have a few participants now that have converted their events to virtual by simply making baked goods and then offering to have them delivered for a donation. Uh, for instance, one of my colleagues is doing cobblers for a cause. So he's baking cobblers for anybody who makes a specific donation. And then on the longest day, June 20th, he's going to go out and safely deliver each of those cobblers. Another great idea would be to host a virtual cooking class. There are a lot of people out there that want to learn how to bake or cook. And this is a great time because a lot of people are at home. But I have a question for you, Emma. What about if your event was going to be at a gym or a fitness center? What if it was going to be a workout longest day event? What do you do then? Oh. What I would do is I would ask my gym or fitness studio to host a class via Zoom and encourage everyone to make a donation in order to attend or get the Zoom link. Or you could start a workout challenge with your friends and family and say that for every dollar you receive as a donation, you'll do one push up on the longest day. So Carly, what would I do if I was planning on having a big trivia or board game night at my house? Hmm, okay. So virtual trivia and game night. I know that me personally, I went to trivia every Wednesday with a group of my friends, so I was very sad when I could no longer do that. However, the company who ran our trivia kind of continued to keep going virtually. So they hosted theirs through Zoom, which you can do as well. I know that Emma herself actually hosted a trivia night not too long ago, and it went over great. However, if you're trying to go outside of the trivia realm, I know that we have a ton of resources, like I said, at alz.org slash TLD. A whole list of different sites that you can use to make card games virtual and um, any kind of game you're thinking of. One of our global teams, the American Contract Bridge Club League, you know, they're having a heck of a time trying to figure out how they're going to go virtual now that many of their clubs have had to shut down. But there's websites listed at alz.org slash TLD on how to play virtual bridge and virtual really any card game, any game you can think of. So I highly suggest you look online because there are tons of resources. All right, Emma, one more question for you. If I'm a crafty person or an artist, or maybe I was planning to host an art gallery or an art auction, what will I do now to go virtual? What I would do is I would take my artwork or my crafts and put them up on Facebook and ask for a donation in exchange for the item or do some sort of silent auction. Or another idea would be to host a virtual paint and sip party as well. So Carly, what would I do if I was planning on having a big barbecue or cookout with my friends and family? Well, Emma, that's a really important one because a lot of Longest Day events were planning to be somewhat of a gathering, whether it be a happy hour or a party or a barbecue. One thing I can say is that you can still do a karaoke night or a happy hour or even a talent show for the longest day. You just may have to do it a little bit virtual. And um, another great uh, solution would be that Netflix has a new option, Netflix Party, where you can watch movies with others. Maybe consider doing a movie night and having people make a donation of maybe the same amount of money they would have spent had they gone to the movie theater. So in closing on today's 
steps to solstice, I just want to say don't forget to tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a little bit about where the money goes. You're actually going to just see a blog post from our programs team. I encourage you to get on and read it. And also, thank you again for tuning in this week. We've got a couple more days left of our steps to solstice. And we're really, really excited for the upcoming longest day. See you uh, tomorrow, the next day, and on June 20th. Bye, everyone.